to the inaugural episode of Same Hobby New Memories that we have exclusively here on Wake of Call with Dan Tortora inside of GG Cards and Breaks, 639 Delmar Place in Syracuse, New York, New York, right off of Teal Avenue. I have Josh here and Anthony, and uh, very excited that we have the opportunity to have this inaugural conversation about really what it means to have Same Hobby New Memories. So. With that title, Josh, I'll start with you. What does that mean to you? You and I have talked a lot off the air about the hobby, but making new memories of it and kind of my connection and how you brought me back to feeling like I was a kid again. So what does same hobby new memories mean to you? I mean, I think when we originally like started uh, with the idea of having the card shop, it came from like our own personal connection to it when we were you know, kids ourselves. And we got out of it for a long time. And basically like being able to bring ourselves back into it and then be able to create recreate that experience for people that like we're also going through the same feeling of re-entering the hobby and, and a lot of times you know th those people that are our age now have kids so it's 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 also like a really cool way to kind of reconnect with not just the hobby but like watching the new generation of collector come into the shop and being able to like kind of see the way that they're collecting now and and, and that resonates with I think both of us. Yeah. Anthony, what would you say? Same hobby, new memories? Was that yeah, I mean, I was out of the hobby for a long time, um, and we, I just, when I got back into it, it was kind of, it just, it's a rush of nostalgia, right? Like, it's just, you remember when you were a kid and who, what players you liked then, and, you know, you never stop watching sports, and I still, you know, I play fantasy football with my friends, but for a long time I wasn't buying football cards, and I wasn't collecting, so it, it just gives me an opportunity to kind of do something I did as a kid again, and kind of let go of some of the you know the stresses of your daily life and everything going on in the world and just and have fun and I think that's the the key thing about the hobby is it's an opportunity to have fun in your own way whatever that might be if it's a collecting a certain player or opening packs or whatever it is yeah you know and off the air you know there's some guests that you had come in here that were buying different things and they said you know it's like you know you just get so into opening the packs I was I I still and i try to be better about it now but i'm that person that if i buy a box i if there's like 12 packs in there i'm going to open 11 of them within like 15 minutes and then go i should wait on the last one <laughs> like yeah, just, the responsible I, nature kicks in <laughs> way too late yeah. I, I remember one christmas probably my favorite box i opened which is where i got that kobe bryant rookie card yeah. that i had brought in so skybox premium christmas morning my mom goes you can open a pack <laughs> and then she went to make breakfast and I opened like three packs and then I just kind of you know lost it. and within an hour it was done and I'm like what am I supposed to do now it made me think of Joey from friends when he didn't want anybody to touch his food and then the girl got up because she got a page she had to make a phone call at the time shows you how old the show was and she had left chocolate cake on the uh, on the table at the restaurant, and she came back and he go and he's got cake all over his face, and he was like, "I'm not even sorry about this." That's how I felt. I had packs everywhere on the ground, and my mom goes, "Did you open them all?" And I was like, I "I'm not sorry about no it." Shame. <laughs> but, uh, no shame. No <laughs> shame. But to show you what it means when we talk about GG cards and breaks being so different here on 639 Del Mar Place in Syracuse, New York, I'm going about my life a few days ago, and I get a message on social media that's tagged my Twitter account at call DT and Anthony had put it up and it said hey I couldn't help myself when this when this walked in how could I not buy it a rookie card for Blake Bortles and for those of you that know me I've been a Jaguars fan since they came into existence all the way through from 95 I've covered Blake Bortles spoken with Blake Bortles and uh, spent time in the in the locker room and at the games so I defend him. I feel like I'm one of the only people that does. I found out within the last two weeks that Papa Joe, shout out to him and myself, and then I said something about Blake Portals and this guy, Anthony, goes, you know what? I don't think he gets the respect that he deserves. He really wasn't a bad quarterback, and I was like, I, I, like, I liked Anthony, and then he jumped up another spot here, even though he has a lot of hatred for his own team. So he moved up the ranks, well, for certain people. And uh, no, but when I saw this, they just put a post of the card out and said, you know, we couldn't pass this up. When you can give a card like this to your friend, it means a lot. And, you know, I think that really embodies what GG Cards and Breaks is, is you think about people. And honestly, that message on Twitter, 
is one of my favorite messages I've ever received from anybody on social media. And I automatically am like, that's going, that's going in my like safekeeping box in my brain to, to have. So thanks for doing yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was yeah. just like I said, I, I, we have people bringing in stuff all the time, so we never really know what's going to walk through. Yeah. And it was just funny that you know, not too long after we had just had that conversation about Bortles, that a rookie card came in, and I'm just like, I told the guy, I'm like, I got, I got the buy this. You know, I have to get this card. And uh, we have, it's a cool experience to be able to see that. And, and you know, it's, it's always fun to see what's going to come through the store. Yeah, that, that card was always going into your hands. <laughs> it was, that was never getting yeah, stored in the box. Yeah, the second I saw that card. Yeah. Here. It was never it's getting like, put in the cases. That's, that's, that, that's, that's, that was all you all the way. He had, you know, a Mike Evans and a Jarvis Landry rookie. He had some other cards. I'm like, I need this Bortles now. This is the point. <laughs> right, look at you go, really? That card? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Bortles, with his family, having a connection right here to Phoenix, New York. Really? So, yeah. Did not know that. That's yeah. cool. So, and we're friends. We're actually friends on social media, Blake and I. So, shout out to Blake. Yeah, shout out to Blake. <laughs> so, Blake, I hope you're watching. That's yeah. <laughs> shout out to Blake Portals. But you guys have such a, you know, you, you have really interesting things too beyond sports here. And I, I brought a few of these out. Colossus, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, Galactus, who's in this fantastic four card. And I never thought I'd see a card of this ever, but Toxin, as you could see on here, and and. Toxin, I was told when I bought his comics, they said, why would you spend money on these comics? They'll never get to this character. There's no way in hell they're ever going to do anything about it. And he just showed up in the most recent Venom movie, Let There Be Carnage, at the end. So there's a there's like a little ode to him coming because the cop looks up and his eyes go blue and he says, monsters. Uh, that didn't make sense to me. Yeah. I, now That's I, why they I kept showing the cop's name throughout the whole thing. So you have really cool cards. And this that. brought me back to collecting all my Marvel stuff, my X-Men, and I had cards I still have as, that I had as a kid. I collected the X-Men cards, and you get all of the terrifying monsters and villains of X-Men, so I still have very haunting cards, and just a connection to that. I never thought I'd see these here. You have so many graded cards of all different you know, prices and sports and whatnot. You do your breaks, you do things on the internet. I mean, there's so many different ways to interact with GG cards and breaks. When you look at your business model, Josh, what did you want people to think of when they thought of you? I mean, I think what we, I think what both Anthony and I strive for is doing whatever we have in mind to the best of our ability and doing it, you know, like creating that best version of it. Yeah. And I think a lot of that, that stems from whatever your ideas are, but also like being open to watching what other people have done. And as a collector, like me going into certain stores or watching certain videos, like I will see things that I go, that's awesome. I would love to be in that store. I would love to see those types of things. And so there are certain things you can do and certain things you can't, or certain things that maybe you strive to do in small chunks. And we've tried to build that out from day one. And obviously like Rome wasn't built in a day, but there are little tweaks along the way that we're able to continue to improve like what we offer to people and how we offer it to them. And so we've basically been able to grow based on the amount of like customer support that comes in here and continues to like help facilitate that growth so it's been like yes it's been internal that growth and it's it's but it's been very much because of the people that are coming in here on a weekly basis and spending their time and their money and telling their friends about their experience if they have a good one so it's uh, it's just been really really good to see that you know happen over the last few years of doing this because we don't get to this point without like the support of the people in this community coming in and, and you know supporting us yeah you know and it's it's such a cool thing that you guys, you have so many different ways that you make people feel seen and appreciated, even if they've never been in here before. And one of the things is right behind us. You can see this box says it's for the Los Angeles Angels. But when you look on this back wall and you see all the NBA teams, all the Major League Baseball teams, all the NFL teams, I didn't think, again, since I was a kid, that I would ever walk into a place and find Raptors, Diamondbacks, Jaguars in one store and it was something I had as a kid and I never knew that I would have this again the reason why I wanted to work with GG cards and breaks without a doubt was because of the fact that number one when I came in the customer service was great very helpful very attentive on top of that where am I gonna go where the back wall looks like my house <laughs> and then I get to experience that so when you open a box like this I wanted to just show you that 
these aren't just typical base cards, right? There's, and obviously in this Angels box, there's Shohei Otani, and you're going to find Mike Trout and whatnot, but you're going to see different inserts. You're going to see uh, rookie cards from some guys out here, and there's some autographs that I went through in this as well. There's some clear inserted cards, rookie cards. So when you're going through these boxes looking for your team you're, or looking for one of your favorite players, it's not like you're just going to find base cards that are worth 10 cents. There's a piece of a jersey right there. So, I, you know, I think this is another thing to make note of is not only do you represent so many fans here in Central and Upstate New York and people that travel in, but when they go through this box, they're going to find really amazing cards and rookies and, and all different types of things that you wouldn't expect to find in a box on the wall. So, Anthony, I'd love for you to give your thoughts on why. Well, you I think, you know, the, the big thing uh, with that is with the Internet today, with NFL Ticket, you can watch your team. You can watch your sport anywhere at any time. And, you know, we have a, a fairly large uh, airport. We have SU. Uh, we have Lemoyne, who is D1 as well now. So we have a couple of larger universities in the area, and they're going to attract kids from different areas. Yeah. And they're going to have, you know, um, students coming from all across the world. And if, if you're from California and you come to New York, you might be a fan of the Giants and the Niners. And if you go into a shop that's only got Bills, Jets, Giants stuff, you're not going to want to go back. There's nothing there for you. You might be a Shanahan fan looking for every team he's been to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you've got the Commander's box there. you got the Falcon's box he's ready to go. Past it. Right, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just I think it's – I think about what I would want out of my experience going into a store. And, you know, so some of my bigger collections are, are messy and mantle. And I like to kind of collect some of the guys who I think are really great. But I also collect 49ers defensive player rookie patch autographs. And I like to do that because the defensive players don't get the same kind of love that, like, maybe some of your uh, skill position offensive players will get value-wise. But you can get really cool cards at a much cheaper rate for guys that you really enjoy watching. You know, I, I can yeah. get a Fred Warner autograph for a fraction of a Brock Purdy autograph. And, you know, Brock, I think he could be good. I've already watched Fred be an all-pro for years, and I know Fred's great. Yeah. And so I just, and you know, Patrick Willis, Navarro Bowman, the classic guys that I watched when I was growing up, too. And it's just, you know, so I wanted to be able to kind of give back to other people what I would like to see. And we're far from perfect. We work every day to try and be a little bit better. And, you know, we're still growing. So yeah. it's just, it, I, I kind of think about, like, what I'm, we're also, we're part of the hobby. We are collectors as well. And I want to have an experience for people that come to our store that I would expect to go into a store and have a good time myself with, basically. Yeah, and I think that, you know, that same hobby, new memories, that the whole point of bringing this video to you is showing you that when you come into a store, it's a different experience than, you know, just simply doing something online where you're not around people. And this store, this location, this opportunity, GG specifically to me, it's so, I mean, it literally called to, it pulled my heartstrings from being a child. I mean, you guys brought me back to being 12 years old and going into the store with my grandma. And then ironically, where you're located is where my grandmother spent so many years of her life. So she, if she was alive right now, could walk me here. You know, Lincourt Bakery right down the road. And, and by the way, folks, uh, when we do these shows and we have things like this, we understand that we're very spoiled at GG Cards of Breaks. So when we're done with this show, uh, we have other boxes, we have other things to unbox, which are these right here. So, but I mean, you, you talk about the defensive players and all that. I mean, I, I went to the Jaguars box and what did I find? My guy, Andre Cisco from Syracuse, mm -hmm. who I covered and who I continue to cover in the Cisco Chronicles and my Jaguars coverage. And so I find a couple of his rookies in there. And like you said, defensive players for a fraction of the cost. For a couple bucks, I have two more Andre Cisco rookie cards. And I'll keep those forever because I know Andre and because of his connection to two places I love. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's a very special experience when you come here to GG Cards and Breaks, 639 Del Mar Place in Syracuse, right off of Teal Ave. It's right by the airport, so if you got some time, come in here. If it's wintertime and you're stranded, oh, definitely come in here. they got some nice places to sit, some great things to go through, and, of course, you have some great food right around the corner. So for Josh, for Anthony, and for myself, Dan Tortora, this has been a wake-up call with Dan Tortora special 
called Same Hobby New Memories. We've only just begun in our partnership with Gigi, and you have only just begun becoming a collector because there is way too much for you to go through here in one trip, and we can't wait to see you very soon. Seven days a week, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and on Sundays from 10 to 5. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Appreciate you.